The troubles continue for UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson. His ethics adviser, Lord Geit, has quit. The resignation came a day after Lord Geit said that there was a legitimate question about whether the Prime Minister broke ministerial rules over Partygate. Now, the details on the reasons behind Lord Geit's resignation have been exposed. The UK government published the letter in full after pressure from MPs. The ethics adviser's decision appears to have caught Number 10 by surprise. A government spokesperson said earlier this week that Lord Guy was asked to, quote, provide advice on a commercially sensitive matter in the national interest, which had previously had cross-party support, unquote. Number 10 did not clarify what the matter was and the decision is still pending relating to it. Lord Geit is Johnson's second advisor to quit in less than two years. His predecessor, Alex Allen, quit in November 2020 after the Prime Minister ignored his findings in a report that investigated whether the UK Home Secretary, Priti Patel, had bullied civil servants. Well, for more on this, we're now joined by our London correspondent, Julia Chapman. Julia, yesterday we got a one-line statement from the government on their website announcing Lord Guy's resignation. But Boris Johnson had been under pressure to reveal more about the reasons behind it. Now that letter has been published in full, what's in it? Well, we are hearing from Prime Minister Boris Johnson today saying in this letter to Lord Guide in response to his resignation that the Prime Minister was surprised by his announcement, having discussed earlier this week that he was happy to continue in the role at least until the end of the year. But I think most people will be more surprised not by the resignation itself, but the reasons for the resignation. Because although Lord Geitz said in his letter to the Prime Minister that he did have some frustration over Boris Johnson's handling of the Partygate scandal in which uh, the Prime Minister received fines for breaking uh, lockdown rules during the coronavirus pandemic here in the UK, uh, the reason that he said ultimately pushed him over the edge to make this decision to resign uh, re was regarding a new matter that arose this week. Uh, Lord Geitz said in his letter that he had been asked to consult on a measure which he believed uh, would risk a deliberate uh, breach of the ministerial code. Now, that has been rejected by Boris Johnson, who in his response said he didn't believe that was the case. In fact, he was asking uh, Lord Guy to consult on this matter in order to ensure that the ministerial code had been upheld. Uh, he also said that what was at risk was possibly uh, a breach of the UK's uh, requirements under the World Trade Organization. And that is why Lord Guy was being asked to consult on this. The details are still far from clear. But of course, this does put more pressure on Boris Johnson. As you said, this is the second such resignation of an ethics advisor to the Prime Minister in less than two years. It's going to be very likely to be more difficult to replace him this time around. Uh, and of course, Prime Minister Boris Johnson only recently uh, survived uh, a vote of no confidence. Uh, this alone is unlikely to create any kind of huge political earthquake. But the statement from Lord Guy was certainly a very stark one. Uh, and Boris Johnson certainly does have more questions to answer over the reason for this resignation. Yeah, and Julia, as you've just said, it's been a pretty tricky few weeks for the Prime Minister after that no confidence vote, of course. Do we expect much more from him later today? Well, certainly we are expecting more details on the reason for this resignation. Uh, we understand it has something to do with subsidies for a certain British industry, uh, but the details are still far from clear. So we are hoping uh, that later in the day there will be a, a broader response from the government with regards to uh, why Lord Geit has resigned, the uh, matter at, at, with which he said uh, that he was going to do so and the reasons for that resignation. But certainly uh, there are still many unanswered questions when it comes to uh, the matter that he said uh, put him in what he called an impossible and odious position this week.